From mid-century to contemporary, public to private, we're in search of the very best in art. Homes, happenings, stores, restaurants and people. Things that defy categories. The perpetual freshness and cool of modern never ceases to captivate us. Join us for another edition of Modern Dallas TV to discover what's going on and where in the modern world. Hi, I'm Empress. And I'm Micah Gilbert, the geologist and gemologist at Impressive Geodesigns. We present the finest natural decor with high quality minerals, corals, and other specimens from all over the world. We provide a variety of functional pieces, including lamps, tables, bowls, and other custom projects. Share in the beauty and wonder of these stunning gems and natural works of art. Visit us at impressivegeodesigns.com. Modern Dallas Real Estate this week is at 6421 Sandra Drive in the Lakewood area just off of Abrams and I'm here with uh, Aaron Young with the Lily Young Group of Ali Beth Elman and Associates. Aaron, what a great property, a nice contemporary in this great neighborhood. It's a fantastic home. It was built by Keen Homes in 2014. It's uh, one of their first contemporary homes that they built and the current owner was a jewelry design, designer and she made some fantastic finishing touches on the home. It's actually a beautiful space. You walk in, it's open, it's airy. There are a lot of features and benefits in this house. There are. There's a, it's a fantastic entertaining home. The back of the home has got four glass doors on, on two separate sides that open back into the walls and really open up the home for indoor-outdoor entertainment. Uh, they've done a great job of incorporating uh, both the front yard and the backyard as, as space that, which they would use when they have people over. Yeah, the, the front yard is an interesting concept. The front yard is. They, uh, it's, it's hard to do now in Lakewood, but they needed a space where they could really um, contain where their pets went and where their small children went. And so the backyard is very open and the garage has an area where you can pull through and part of that uh, was hard to enclose. And so what they thought to do was to enclose the front yard, which is great. Yeah, it's, it's so unusual, but it's a wonderful feature and beautifully finished off. One of the great features of the house for me is the garage. I know it's a lot, <laughs> but tell us how that concept works. Well, they, uh, it's, it's a double door garage, so you can just pull right in and then pull right out. You never have to reverse, which ah. makes it very easy. <laughs> what a great idea. And uh, obviously one of the other great aspects of this house is there's an additional area upstairs on the garage. There is. It's, right now it's an unfinished space, but it would be a great space for an office or uh, you know, maybe a, a workout studio or something along those lines. So the house is listed for? A million to 75. You can see it on Aaron's website at alibeth.com. Or if you'd like to see all the modern listings in Dallas, visit moderndallas.net. Hello, I'm Micah Gilbert, the geologist and gemologist at Impressive Geodesigns. I'd like to share with you some of my favorite blue gemstones. We have an elegant array of blue quartz and agate slices with breathtaking patterns and some of which that have glittering pockets of crystals. Exquisite freeforms of lapis lazuli with ultramarine coloration, labradorite displaying stunning flashes of iridescence, and sparkling crystals of sky blue celestite. Visit us at impressivegeodesigns.com. Modern Dallas Art this week is at uh, Carneal Simmons Contemporary Art. We're here to see the show Resonant Fragments by Jen Pack, and I'm here with Alan Simmons. Alan, walking into the show, it's just so beautiful. The colors, it's vibrant, it's got energy, movement, but it's an unusual medium that Jen's working in. It's fiber. Yes, so uh, I'm so excited about this show. This is one of my favorite exhibitions that we've ever put together. Uh, Jen is a textile and fiber artist and um, the show entitled Resonant Fragments was uh, cr created because she used fragments of fabrics and thread from previous works into the new works. And so these the works for this exhibition 
uh, are from late 2016 and 2017. And we also included some fiber works that were older works uh, that really showed her process. And then we have uh, some of her more linear uh, textile works where she's taken strips of fabric and sewn together in very straight linear lines. And so, so when you look at resin and fragments, what does it really mean? What is it, you know, because I know there's, there's, there's really depth and, and, and thought within each of these pieces. Absolutely. So the resonant is, is the way that she describes her, the way the fabrics uh, play off one another. You've got extremely bold, intense, bright colors juxtaposed to dark, uh, soft colors. Different, there's different levels of opacity in the fabrics. So some, some are a, a little bit uh, translucent where you can see into the works to see how she's constructed them and some are more opaque, and there's different levels of opacity uh, I mean, and, and, and reflectivity. And um, her works are mainly known for their bold use of, of color and form. So tell us a little bit about Jen, because she's got a great story as well. Yes, she uh, was born in Astoria, Oregon, and then uh, went to college in California. She got her BFA from Art Center College of Design in Pasadena, California, and her MLIS from San Jose State University. And um, after being in, in the West Coast for years, she decided to move to Silver City, New Mexico, so that she could focus on her practice and have more solitude to focus on her sculptures. So when you look at these pieces, each one individually, some of these odd hexagonal almost shapes, um, check marks, What's the inspiration? She's definitely inspired by color field painters, and she uh, has cited that post-minimal artist Eva Hess is one of her biggest inspirations, and then light and space artist James Turrell and, and the way he plays with space and, and light. And she's even inspired by the writer Oct Octavia Butler. So with that said, fiber is an unusual medium. How does that play into what people perceive this work to be? Often people, when they walk in, if they don't know that it's a textile and fiber show, they, they make the assumption that it's a painting, that all these are different strong, strongly shaped sculptural paintings, but they're, um, they're, they're inspired by pa painters, but uh, executed, as fabric. executed as fabric and, and, and into a sculptural form. Well, that was my first impression. This is an incredible show. So how long does the show go on for and where can they find you? The show continues through November 11th. They can find us at carnealsimmons.com and we're located at 1415 Slocum Street, Suite 105 on, in the Dallas Design District. Wonderful. Thanks so much, Alan. Thank you. Appreciate it. Guggenholm is a curated contemporary gallery highlighting art, furniture, and unique accessories for the modern home. We've looked around the world for furniture lines that reflect a new modern take on the contemporary aesthetic. Our goal is to show how art can be incorporated into your living space and we feature several local and European artists. Guggenholm, where the art of living meets the art we live with. Visit us at 1426 North Riverfront Boulevard and also at guggenholm.com. One of the wonderful things about what we cover every year are home tours, architectural tours in Dallas. We've covered so many over the years. And this year is no, uh, no doubt one of those years that there is significant homes that will be featured on the four home tours coming up. We've covered the Modern Mile Dallas. We have coming up Preservation Dallas's 2017 Fall Architecture Tour. What's more important about this tour, it's dedicated to the life and architecture of architects. Frank Welsh, and I'm here with Preservation Dallas, who's uh, overseeing this tour, with Donovan uh, Westover. Donovan, this is a significant tour beyond all the other tours. Uh, this is, yeah, the, we're doing a different type of tour this year. It's not going to be um, just historic homes as we uh, typically do, um, being Preservation Dallas. Um, Frank's passing just recently in June kind of shifted us into a different direction, and everybody's got him on their minds right now. 
And so we decided to go out and um, pick up one of his house designs, his, his best house designs basically, um, one from each decade. And so we have started with the 1960s um, and then we have one from the 70s, 80s, 90s, 2000s, and 2010. Um, and additionally, there is a patron tour house and a patron party house. So this will be eight Frank Welch houses all in uh, one time slot on Saturday, October 28th. Um, the day begins at the Lamplighter School in North Dallas where Frank designed the uh, gymnasium and we'll be doing a symposium there, a discussion, and uh, Mark Lamster, the architecture critic from the Dallas Morning News, will be moderating our panel, which will um, include architect Mark Gunderson, architect Scott Marek, and builder John Hardy, who have all uh, worked very, very, very closely with Frank over the decades. And, um, and they're, they have a lot of funny anecdotes and a lot of cool insight and a lot of educational information as our tours usually have. Um, and then guests will actually kind of uh, depart and take off on their tour and they'll be able to walk through a visual representation of the evolution of Frank's work. Um, the 1960s house has got that kind of 1960s brutal look to it. The 1970s house has got that very sharp um, Brady Bunch look to it. The 1980s house, uh, you could see filled with black lacquer furniture back in the 80s, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and the projects get very big um, as you come into the, the uh, more contemporary designs. Um, and that's when they actually start to include a massive amount of grounds. One of the house actually has a Frank Welch designed guest house. Um, it's going to be an exemplary day and uh, a really a once in a lifetime opportunity because nobody else is ever going to assemble eight of these houses again. Where can they find out more details and when is this tour? The tour is on Saturday, October 28th. Um, it's only one day, it's four hours, and um, information and tickets can be found at preservationdallas.org. The modern lifestyle begins in the home, and you'll find a range of unique living spaces across Dallas's most desirable neighborhoods. Start your search by meeting one of these modern realtors. Poget began his career with a degree in architecture, followed by years of interior design work, including the interior design of several luxury high-rises and commissions for clients' dream homes. Poget's distinct background makes real estate a natural fit. To wrap up this edition of Modern Dallas TV, we cover local modern events and the art scene. Check out the calendar and the arts page on our website at moderndallas.net. There are always great events from the Dallas Architecture Forum, Preservation Dallas, and the Dallas Center for Architecture has great walking tours in downtown Dallas. Open houses every week, always a great selection. You can create your own mini mod home tour and Todd Camplin covers the art scene for us, from art galleries to museums and artists. You can check out his page on the website. And lastly, if you're in the market for a modern, mid-century modern, contemporary, home, high-rise or loft, we simply have the finest moderns in Dallas. For this week, we appreciate you being part of our show. We'll see you later.